If you look at those numbers, what's that number tell you? Well, it tells you if you put your boom in an energized primary line, the relays back at the station most likely are probably not going to see that fault. Um, in all these cases, we saw in the neighborhood of 5,600 volts and about 6 amps through the worker. And we were using a 900 ohm resistor to signify the worker. So if you were touching that truck with the truck, either in any of these situations, you're looking at 55, 56, we have 5,800 volts and about 6 amps. There's no way you can survive that accident. You're basically dead. Okay. What we found was that the temporary ground rod is basically worthless for man protection. You might pick up your relays in time, uh, but boy, for man protection, it's not going to do anything to it. My guy says, this is strange because, you know, back home, we burn trucks up and we put the boom in the primary. We blow tires out and all kinds of things happen. Nothing's happening. What's going on? He goes, well, he says, what I've got is I've got the relay set up that when the breaker closes, it closes for 30 cycles. At the end of 30 cycles, the breaker back opens back up. So the truck is only seeing 5,000 amps for 30 cycles or half a second. There's not enough heat energy being built up to blow the tires out and everything. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, getting back to OSHA, when we made this presentation, OSHA says, yeah, great. We can see we're grounding to an effective ground, like a neutral combination um, really does work. But we still have this hazard. You know, we say basically anything above 50 volts is hazardous to the voltage. So that's why the OSHA regulation will go through uh, 269P4 talks about the different options if you're going to get your truck into the primary area. The, one of the things is grounding, but if you do ground as your primary protection, you have to do something else to protect yourself from the 200 volts, and we'll kind of go through that. All right. Now this is an interesting paragraph because, again, like I said, if you were in the NESC meeting, um, we've misinterpreted some things. Um, how often do you pull your fiberglass third section out and reach up there and drop a transfer down between the three phases? Or you put some cover on the line and then pull your boom up there and drop a transfer down there? 